what's up guys and thank you for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it and that you're gonna find it uh, very informative i uh, got myself the dj avada 2 kit and i'm right now in the process of activating everything if you are new to dj product they need to be activated before you're able to actually enjoy them uh, if you don't activate them you're gonna get this message especially on the gaggle that telling you it need to be activated in order to uh, enjoy all the function available on any of those uh, this is what we're gonna be doing uh, the process should be a very easy process but with everything sometimes you may run into some hiccup uh, first thing before you start the activation process you're gonna need to make sure that all your batteries are fully charged and in the case of DJI, you know, to check your status on the battery, the only thing you have to do is get on the battery and do a quick press on it. Uh, we got four lights that give you the status of the battery. Uh, let me do the same thing with the Motion 3 remote control. A quick press. You can see we are fully charged on this baby. And also on the Gabo 3, the power button is in the bottom just a quick press and that is also fully charged once you make sure that everything is fully charged battery wise what you're gonna need is a phone in my case i'm gonna be using my android phone but if you have an iphone that also gonna work fine and on your phone you're gonna need to install this app that is the dj fly app uh, it is available in the Apple Store. Uh, if you have an Android, you're going to need to go into the DJI website uh, to get this one because this app is actually not available into the Play Store. It is a APK app. So I'm not going to show you how to download APK app on your Android phone, but you may need to make a couple changes in order to get the app running into the Android phone. All right, so now that our Fly app is open, we're gonna go and click in the bottom section here where it say connection guide. Uh, this actually, at this point, the app gonna take you to the whole process of what you need to do step by step. So you really don't need to watch this video. You can just go straight on your DJI Fly app. In the Fly app, you're gonna have an option to select different of the DJI drone. But in our case, we're gonna be working with the Avada 2. So we are gonna click on the avatar 2 uh, this is the first step is telling us that we need to plug our goggles to the phone and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn the goggle on and to turn it on uh, very simple and that is the same process for all dji products you're gonna go quick press and second press you hold it that's how we turn the gaggle on and that's how you turn pretty much everything that DJI make now in my case since i'm using a android phone my phone does come with a usb-c so i want to use the usb-c to usb-c cable that is available in the kit if you're using an iphone you're going to need to use uh, this little adapter that going to allow you to go from the iphone cable to a usb-c yeah, my phone went back to sleep so what i'm going to do now is just going to connect our phone to the gaggle i'm going to move everything out of the way for now since we're just working on the gaggle back to the previous page let click on it again and now it's telling us that we need to power on the drone itself then again same process the drone is power on And of course, make sure to take your gimbal protector off. It does say that on the screen. 
There we go. So somehow the app is able to see the gaggle and the drone. Now it's gonna go to the next step. It's asking us which uh, controller we're using. And of course, in my case, I'm using the motion controller three. So we're gonna click on the motion controller three. Uh, if you are using the remote controller three, then you're gonna pick the remote controller three. So I don't click on a motion controller three. It's gonna take us to the same process again. You're gonna to need to tune it, tune it on. Controller three, same process. Quick click and hold. That is on. and give it a little bit of time we go to the next step it's asking us to activate everything we're gonna agree on that just agree and that's one of the reason i tell you guys that you need to make sure that uh, all your battery are done are char fully charged activation is complete uh, in this page it's asking us about the dji care refresh care whatever and that is an insurance that DJI sell with all the products in case you damage one of your products like your drone they're gonna send you another one and I actually do, did not buy a care refresh uh, for uh, for this kit but uh, from the time you activate your drone gago or controller you actually have 48 hours to buy the uh, care refresh you don't have to buy it right away so we're gonna skip that for now no we're gonna skip it for now i'll be back yes you're gonna give you a warning yes i want to skip this for now and at this point we're gonna go to the update it's gonna update everything uh, to make sure that everything is running the latest and the greatest software from dji and the update process, depending on your internet speed, can vary how long it's gonna take. And again, that's one of the reasons I'll tell you guys, make sure all your battery are charged. And in case you wonder, you'd like to know what information are available as far as the software goes, uh, it kinda go over everything that it's been added into the software. And during this process, uh, sometimes it is completely normal. Uh, either your gago, your drone, or the motion controller can shut back down and turn back on. So that is a normal process, uh, don't worry. Once you get everything going as far as your update, just leave everything alone. Whenever the update is done, it's gonna let you know that the update is done. So at this point, you're just sitting and waiting. And needless to say, I don't think I talked about it earlier. You need to make sure that your phone is fully charged because you don't want your phone dying on you when you are activating your, your kit or when you are updating the drone or the Gago 3. But in case your phone die, don't worry about it. You just need to make sure to get your phone charged and just redo the whole process. So in case you're wondering why it's taking so long, uh, that is simply because we are updating the firmware on the DJI Avada 2. We are updating the firmware on the DJI Gago 3 and we are also updating the firmware on the DJI RC Motion 3. There we go guys. So we have a little check mark that means that our activation and firmware update everything is done at this point the only thing you need to do is come out of the screen there's a little x here we're gonna close the x and it's telling us that we can go fly so only thing i'll tap now is go fly and at this point it's just gonna take us to all the instruction and everything you need to do, need to be done but as far as the activation process and firmware update uh, everything is done your drone should be completely bound everything should be bound together yeah folks so uh just went through all the little i say orientation about the motion controller uh, right now i'm getting a very interesting 
message it's saying country code not updated i don't know it's because i'm inside and the gps is not able to capture anything so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go outside and see if we can clear this message